What's up everyone? My name is Vanessa. I'm Stephanie. And we're candyologists here at Candy Funhouse. And today we are gonna take you through a day in the life, which includes palate training, candy taste testing and rating, candy descriptions, and making a candy platter. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, when you're in this role, you have to get some training done. So these two candyologists are gonna help us on out and tell us a little bit about what training looks like here at Candy Funhouse. So take it away guys, what are we doing? <laughs> so just like you said, you gotta go through some palate training. Okay. So we are going to blindfold you and see if you can identify the Skittle flavors without seeing them. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> you can reach for your first bite, okay. right there. Okay. Cherry? Next. Berry? Red? <laughs> it's not red. Re lime? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I, I have no idea. Let's try the next one. Okay. That's all right. It happens. Show it to the camera. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is what I have. I don't know if you can see it, because I can't see, but. <laughs> I feel like that was orange. I feel like I'm doing a really bad job with this. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm not becoming the next candyologist. <laughs> okay, so after you finish your training, which I failed miserably at, it comes to rating. So if you guys want to explain a little bit about your rating system and what you guys would do in a regular day. All right, so on a regular day, we come in and we get to try candy. So we have over 3,500 different products in our back warehouse. So sometimes it's a new selection of new varieties of candy. Sometimes it is retro, sometimes it's a comparison between different areas. So Canadian versus the US chocolate bar. Um, so today we've got quite a little Cheese bit of Canada. selection for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've got a selection for you today. Hey, so we're gonna kind of go through it step by step on what we look for when we taste test and how we rate it. So what should we get into first? Because I am so excited to try all of these. What do you want to try? Yes. Yeah. Do you want oh. chocolate? Do you want a candy? We're gonna end with the sour one just because. Yes. This yeah. One okay. Last. Yeah, guys. Yeah. If you want to take a little close up look at this <laughs> one, apparently this is like drool worthy. They were like, if I need to spit it out, you can. Um, so we'll see how I do with that. I feel like we should start with the Lay's. Okay, I kind of already went into this one. That's true. Crack her open. Right away, okay. open her up. Let's see. She's about halfway full. But halfway full? Okay, let's, let's let you guys take a little look in there. So yeah, we have about a halfway full. Should we all grab one and give it a taste? Yeah, what yes. does it smell like? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it smells like Sour, our... I'm smelling sour cream and onion. Yeah, mm. that's a, I'd say sour cream and onion. Maybe a little bit of vinegar in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sour cream and onion and salt and vinegar like mix. Mmm, I agree. That's on the nose. That's why you guys are the candyologists. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's try these. All right. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. They're, okay. They're decently sized chips. Yeah. Like, nice not, size. Nice small. presentation. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You don't like that at all. It's barbecue <laughs> with sour cream and onion aftertaste. <laughs> I like it, but it's also not my favorite chip that I've ever had. Yeah, so I wouldn't rank it as high as some of the others, but for the actual freshness, for the taste, the crunch and everything, it's not bad. I'd say probably around a 7.2. Okay. I was thinking like a 6.6. .6. Okay. So in and okay. around the same range, same because range. for me, I just love chips. I, no, I'm sorry. I'll still eat them. I absolutely, I, them. Yeah, I absolutely um, love chips. Okay. And I like how crunchy they are. Mm. I like the size of them. I like that you get a decent amount in the bag. Yes. Yeah. Now, like you said, is it my favorite chip flavor? Probably not. Yeah. Could I eat the whole bag if I hadn't eaten for a week? Maybe. <laughs> but right off oh. the top? Oh, I could most definitely not. finish it right now because I'm hungry. <laughs> I like, I the sweetness <laughs> from the teriyaki mm. sauce is you only, like, it's only one like by the end. Yeah. yeah. That's so fair. I couldn't eat the whole bag if I wanted to. And also, if they were displayed in front of me with a bunch of other chips, I wouldn't go for these ones. Yeah. So they're good, but they wouldn't be my first pick. So that's why I'm giving it a 6.6. .6. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go 6.5 because the novelty factor does come in. Like the fact that right. it's Subway, yeah. and you know, that's really nostalgic for me. I love Subway after like soccer tournaments or yes. whatever. Like, you know, it's such like <laughs> a good, yeah, it's a fun classic meal. And you're right, after the aftertaste, it does hit those notes. But off the top, it just kind of tasted like 
if you gave this to me without context and I didn't see the bag, I would just think it was a funky tasting barbecue chip. Like not bad, True. good, not but fair. I feel like you need the context to get all yeah. of those flavor notes. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 6.5, delicious right. bread in reach. There you go. Okay, <laughs> what, are we, what are we going to next? On to the next. So these ones are from Australia. Okay. Concept. They do have two in one flavors. Okay. So our flavors are blue raspberry and orange, raspberry Ooh. lemonade and pineapple, Ooh. and then watermelon and lime. Okay, this sounds delicious. Okay. Good. It's good to try. I'll let you open those. Okay, Give me you. a full candy I'll just read. Yeah, just okay. go for it. Yeah. Just go for it. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna let you yeah. do this one. Okay. I would give these an 8.5. Okay. I Tell think the seal, yeah, let's get into it. The flavors were really great. It had that nice sour patch feeling when it went in my mouth. Like I felt my mouth just like gush with saliva. <laughs> what a gross description, but if you eat sour patch kids, you know. You know. It's like that tongue tantalizing. It's like mm. And now last, we you guys have been uh so this is my test. Like, could I be a cameologist? Can I can I handle the heat? <laughs> the mega sour fruits. Extremely warning, sour candy. Show you guys a little close up of it. Should I read the warning on the back for you too? <laughs> oh please. <laughs> Let's just get my palm sweating. <laughs> Excessive <laughs> consumption within a brief time period may cause temporary mouth or, or stomach irritation. <laughs> now that is pretty <laughs> much standard for any sour candy because it is yes. really made with citric acid. So yes, you can get, you know, if you, I don't know if we've all done it, but I've definitely done it where I've eaten like 18 more heads at once. Yeah. Um, and made my tongue bleed because that is my fault <laughs> because I ate too many. <laughs> Yeah, how many yeah. do you do? So yes, the citric acid might make your tongue a little rough and everything. Try not to hold it in one spot because that's where you'll feel it after. Yeah, so once what? you pop this in your mouth, <laughs> make sure you're moving it around. Like okay. I said, don't Sorry. leave it in one spot because it will... It's like... It's, it's, it'll, it'll this is corrosive! <laughs> this is like, okay. In the best way though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't... Just keep it moving. Okay, yeah. keep it moving. I'm scared now. So these are actually from the UK. Do <laughs> yes, the UK. Okay. UK. And we actually are the sole distributor. Wow. Okay, yeah. so you can only get them here. Basically. Okay. Ooh. So should I go for red or yellow? Is there? Do you guys have advice? I don't think there's a difference there's, in the sour yeah. this level. We'll just soft. They're all sour. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go yellow. This one's hard. Okay. Give you guys a little look. It's like it's pretty much like a little gum gum drop. It's, it's not gonna be bad. It's not bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving it around. <laughs> If you do need to spit it out, you can. If you do want to stick it out, you also can. can. Yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest thing when you try this is if you've had toxic waste or other sour candies, the sourness, it's very intense very fast, but then it stops. This one takes a lot longer for it to stop. I'm a screw running. <laughs> We're getting to the sweet. There we go. Okay, you suck, you suck it out. We made it through. We made it through. That is extremely sour. <laughs> I'm um, definitely at a sweet point now, but that was almost unbearable. Like, wow. It, it, I'm gonna give this like a 10 out of 10. We're gonna get you to write a description for the Sour Patch Kids Mega Duos that we tried earlier. And let's go. Can, like, if you want people to try them because you enjoy them, that's yeah. kind of what you're trying to get across in these two little lines. Just two little lines. Without saying, just go try them. We want to see something more creative. Okay, let's go type them. <laughs> Okay, amazing. So then after you're finished writing, is this, you just pop it onto the website? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We normally have one person that will, you know, just go over it for quality check and everything, and then goes out. Amazing. So what else do you guys do today? Let's make some content. Yeah, content. <laughs> okay, so you guys are super active on social media too. Yes. So a large part of your job and the CEO's job is gonna be content creation, right? Yes. So, so walk mm -hmm. me through a little bit about what another you know, step in the day in the life is. Excellent. So one of the things that we've done mostly on our socials that really helped us take off is ASMR platters. Okay. So it's a great way for us to showcase what candies we carry. We get to theme them, we get to color them, all that kind of stuff. But then it's very satisfying to open and take a look at them. And the sounds are just, people love it. And so for these, would you just kind of like show it, twist it on camera, open it. Exactly. All right, and that's a wrap on a day in the life as a candyologist. If you think you have what it takes to be our CCO, make sure to apply. Deadline is August 31st. Bye, Narcity. This is Candy Funhouse, and sweet times live here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more great content.